Grand rising, my loves. Here is today's altar spread for the collective. I skipped a day yesterday, Tuesday, out of respect and silence to give the forum to my brothers and sisters of color. But this is the collective for today. So the Sri Yantra is the sacred geometry that showed up for today. I love the Sri Yantra. I work with the Sri Yantra often actually. And so I'll show you the one that I have on my altar. The Sri Yantra is actually representative of complete balance, connection within. So if you see all of the interlocking triangles, the upward pointing triangle represents air, fire and masculine energy. The downward pointing triangle represents earth, water, and the feminine. The interlocking triangles represent the tantric joining of masculine and feminine. And you see the beautiful lotus flowers is the consciousness. And then the four gateways, the four directions, the opening of your consciousness. The Sri Yantra is a call to go inward. It's a rebalancing, recalibration of self and to really look within. We are beginning our Mercury retrograde today in Cancer. Very emotional energy and you really need to start coming clean with all of your shit. And so it's appropriate for this to show up. Beautiful Water has made her appearance. I love working with my sister Water. Water is all lies. It actually has been scientifically proven to have memory. How about that? But water is a beautiful element. It is the only element that can actually exist in all forms. And it also houses all sacred geometry. Water is one of the most intelligent energies on earth. And so water, when it shows up, is asking you to move through emotion and be effortless, to flow and to feel all the feels. This is perfect for this to show up right now, actually. We're moving through so much emotion and energy and now we're in cancer, which is so emotional. And this is just asking you to just do it. Watch your emotions, but don't be controlled by them. Just ride them. And when you ride them, you extract such wisdom from that movement. So let water teach you. The Chakana, this is time to cross the threshold. This is a very powerful card. This is telling you change is afoot. There is nothing you can do about it. The change is powerful and permanent. So know this and know this right now. There is nothing you can do to stop it or control it or direct its course but what's on the other end of it is better for all. So just know that. So that's good. That's a surrender card, just surrender. And I love this one, Udialite Compassion. This, I, I love this anyway. So Udialite Stone, the, the wisdom of this stone is telling you, one, don't deny the suffering that is around you and don't allow that suffering to control you. So you can neither ignore it nor let it move you. What you have to do is help alleviate it by opening your heart. That is the most active, inactive thing that you can do. But not only that, it is the most effective inactive, active thing that you can do is open your heart and find compassion for the suffering. And 
There is no alchemy stronger than love for transmuting energy. So I love that this actually showed up today. The affirmation for Udialite is I allow myself to perceive suffering and act from compassion. I allow myself to perceive suffering and act from compassion. So what is the common pulse today? Let yourself feel all the feels. Don't be controlled by the feels. Know that these feels are the accompaniment to the change that is happening, the imminent change and powerful change that is happening. And just let yourself ride it and feel it all.